Hello, good day everyone. Um, you welcome once again to this channel. Today we shall be looking at the bones that form the antebrachium, that is bones of the antebrachium. These bones include the radius and the ulna. Just two bones. Just two bones. Now from what we have here, this is the radius. Remember we are talking of um, the antebrachium of the equine species. Okay, the equine species. So this is the radius, the massive radius. Okay, and then this is uh, the smaller ulna. Okay, this is the radius, and then this is the ulna. All right, the ulna is here. Uh, I would um, first of all start by showing us the different parts of the ulna, the ulna bone, and then. A different part of the uh, of the radius okay now if you watch carefully in between the radius and the ulna there is a little space okay that space is called the interosseous space the interosseous space the space formed between the two bones okay remember that these two bones are fused together distally okay this is a point of fusion of the radius and the ulna. Okay, this the radius and the ulna. So this is a point of fusion. Okay, and then going proximally, you will find the interosseous space. Okay, now the ulna. Uh, let's look at the parts of the ulna. Okay, so since this is the ulna, this is the shaft of the ulna. This is the shaft. Okay, of the ulna bone. This as a whole, attaching to the honor, of which is part of the honor, is the olecranon. Okay? This is the olecranon. The whole of this is uh, the olecranon. While this elevation or projection here is the olecranon tuberosity. Okay? The olecranon tuberosity. So this is the olecranon tuberosity. You see, it's an enlargement. While the whole of it is called the olecranon. Okay? It is actually this tuberosity that forms the point of the elbow. Okay, the point of the elbow. Alright, coming downwards, we have the anconeal process. Okay, the anconeal process. So this is the anconeal process. Okay, alright. And then, here is the semilunar notch. The semilunar notch. Okay, the semilunar notch. Okay, it is also called the trochlear notch. The trochlear notch. Okay, don't forget, so this is the olecranon tuberosity. Okay, this is the anconeal process, this pointed projection, anconeal process, while this is the trochlear notch or semilunar notch. And then this is the shaft or body of the ulna. Alright, okay, let's go to the parts of the radius. This is the body or the shaft of the radius. Okay, this is the proximal extremity. Okay, the proximal extremity, and then this is the distal extremity. Okay, now let's see the structures or the features of the proximal extremity. Now, looking at this uh, smooth surfaces, this is actually uh, called the humeral articular surface. The humeral articular surface. Okay. Either you call it humeral articular surface or the capitula, capitula surface. It is actually uh, where the, the the humerus okay attaches to the radius. Okay. Now, uh, I need you to understand that this this part okay is the uh, the lateral part of this bone, while this is the medial part. Okay. This is the lateral part. And then this is the medial part. How do we know it is the lateral part? Okay, uh, the, 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 the owner actually tilts more to the lateral part than to the medial part. So if you watch this bone carefully, we look at the caudal aspect. The caudal aspect, this is the caudal aspect. Okay, why this is the cranial aspect of the bone? So if you look at the caudal aspect, you find out that this owner tilted towards this part more than this part. So this part where you tilted more. Is a lateral aspect while this part this free aspect is the medial 
part, okay? So having known that this is a medial and then this is a lateral part, so most of the structures we'll be defining or describing, we will attach the term lateral to them at this point, uh, sorry, medial, medial to them at this point, while here we attach lateral to them, okay? So uh, what you have here is actually the radial tuberosity, okay? This is a radial tuberosity. The radial tuberosity, okay? The radial tuberosity. Now, let's look at this lateral and this medial part. The structures, what you see here is actually a, 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 the tuberosity, okay? This is a tuberosity for attachment of the, of, of the medial collateral ligament of the elbow joint, okay? You see, what you find there is the tuberosity for attachment of the, 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 the medial head of the lateral collateral ligament of the, the medial sorry sorry let me take let me take it again okay this to, uh, structure here is the tobacco or tuberosity for attachment of the medial uh, collateral ligament okay while here is the tuberosity for attachment of uh, the the tendon of the lateral collateral ligament okay all right um now we also have this depression here this depression here is uh, for the attachment of the the brachialis muscle the end part of the brachialis uh, muscle all right now let's come to the uh, the distal aspect of this bone okay the distal aspect so this is the distal aspect or the extremity Okay, of course, what you are seeing here is the uh, carpal articular surface, the carpal articular surface. Uh, on, this on this caudal aspect, it's a transverse uh, 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 ridge or crest. Okay, now, looking at this bone carefully, remember, we said this is the medial aspect and this is the lateral aspect. So, on this medial aspect, we also have tuberosity for attachment of of, uh, of medial collateral ligament of the carpal joint, okay, while here is a tuberosity for attachment of uh, the lateral collateral ligament of the carpal joint, okay. Uh, we, we also have at this point this depression, you have two depressions here, you have this and then we have this here, okay. So on this cranial aspect, this depression here is a groove for the common digital extensor tendon, okay? The groove for common digital extensor tendon, while this is a, a groove for lateral digital extensor tendon. Uh, I think I will stop here, having exhausted uh, uh, most of the part of this bone. Thank you for uh, watching, and uh, I would... Um, advise you subscribe to this channel dr fred academy for more of our videos when you do so please don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so you can be notified whenever our videos are posted thank you